Today, we are going to be discussing advanced safety techniques with sword choreography. This is for choreographed violence, stage combat, whatever you want to call it, not for actual fencing. This is for theatrical combat. So the basic safety technique for attacking someone without hitting them is to cast your energy. What I mean by that is it looks like this. Don't worry about it. Boom. Not worried about it. Not worried about it. So the idea here is I am using the structures of my bones to stop this. I'm extending my arm all the way, extending my wrist all the way. I have no more potential energy to cut him. This is where I'm going to go every time. It doesn't matter if he moves or not. How you feeling? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. We're good? We're it's, good? Yep. Here? I could do this a million times because I'm using the structures here, right? The problem with this is it looks kind of gutless. If he were to parry, it looks pretty clear like I wasn't going to hit him. All of my energy is gone. There's no bend of the sword. It makes my choreography look a little bit lifeless, honestly. You can have really proficient, technically awesome looking choreography, but it's not going to have that visceral, brutal feeling like the two people are trying to get each other. This is the line that I want. Go ahead and parry. Now, it looks like if he hadn't parried, I would have cleaved him in two. Oh no. Because what I've done is I have adjusted the angle of the sword. So we can do this safely with the same mechanics that let us do our casting cut. But now, instead of also extending that wrist all the way, I'm using the elongated handle here as an angle finder. I can choose my angle. And once I know what my angle is, I can decide where this is gonna go. So before, my hand had to go above his head because I was totally cast. But as I open that angle up, you can see that I can come lower and lower. My point is staying the same distance away from his head. My hand's just changing. The bottom hand, the angle finder's changing. So as I come up and down, I have more and less room. Now, this is an advanced technique. You have to really rep this over and over to get it so it's gonna be accurate and reliable and not hurt your partner. But I can now throw this pretty easily. Boom, boom, from a bunch of different angles. Because I've done this enough, that I can, I can do it safely. So if you practice this, you can safely do these cuts that look a lot more visceral and look like he actually had to parry them. Now, I don't really like these as ascending cuts because it's really hard to get my arm in that fully extended position. Um, you can do them, I just find that they're very difficult. And anything coming from this side of the body is gonna be slightly more difficult because you're gonna be in this cross position, but you can do it, it works just fine. The cool thing about this is you can use it for some more advanced German longsword stuff. So, one of the things that people always tell me is, well, you can't throw Zwerkow because it's at the face. <laughs> and I say, poppycock, because, because I don't like rules. So, I do attack the face, and I do it a lot, because I have safety measures in place that I'm not gonna hurt my partner. The same mechanics that helped me before can help me here. I am going to fully extend my arm, and then I've got my angle finder. Depending where I am, I just change my angle, so I'm always within the same distance. I don't wanna fully extend, because first off, that's gonna break my wrist. And my head. And his head. So, from here, boom, I can pop this over and over again at his face, and not hit him because I've got that structure there. It is harder from this side. It is harder from this side because you have this crossed hand position. You've really got to find the full extension here. The extension is the important part. Extension and angle finder. But with some practice, you can do it. Um, yeah, so those are some advanced safety techniques for cutting with long sword. You can do this with one-handed sword as well. So I'll just grab a sword off the wall. We'll use this. It's the same principle, but now the angle finding happens in the front hand. Boom. I have the same thing, but now the angle finder happens with the front hand. The problem with this is you have to have strong wrists because as you go forward, there is a, there is a um, it kind of wants to pull your hand like a whip, like that. So you have to have a strong enough wrist to set it and then go. Uh, I also, it, when we're at more advanced levels of choreography, I do expect my partner to protect themselves. If something goes wrong, I'm able to stop the technique, but we have another level of safety, which is him blocking. So if I'm here, I'm cutting at him, boom, right? I can still do this where I don't need him to block, but if he blocks, it helps, right? So advanced safety techniques, you can do them with one hand. It's a little bit harder because you have to have a strong enough wrist to maintain that angle as you cut. But yes, swords, safety techniques, good cutting, uh, advanced stuff. End of tutorial. Was that was that your choice of ending? Yeah, that was my choice. Well, I was gonna say something profound, but but don't do drugs, kids. Unga bunga, me no brains. Ah! 
Thank you for your support. If you'd like to help out the channel, please consider donating on Patreon, YouTube memberships, or donating on one of our live streams. This helps us a lot. The channel takes a lot of work to run, and I do it as a full-time job. It lets me keep making videos like this, tutorials, and other things both on Stage Combat, HEMA, and literally all the other stuff we make. So if you like our stuff, please consider supporting the channel, and thank you for watching.